Dulung dulung What's up ones? Welcome back to my channel. Now today I want us to talk about something that I feel like everybody right now is going through. Mm. Well, let's say 90% of you. And I feel like talking about it because today in the morning I received a call from a friend and like from a guy coming from a guy i felt really bad it's about feeling stuck like you're, you're in a business you're in a relationship i don't know what you're doing but you're just feeling stuck you don't know you've not seen any form of growth so far now growth here i'm not talking about the size the relativity of the size you've grown further bigger smaller in that i'm not talking about that i'm talking about growth in life like if i compare you from last month last year to now the the things that have actually changed you've moved from one point to another now when this guy called me in the morning i wasn't, I wasn't even sure what to tell him because the way he talked about it i don't want to mention who he is and what he told me but it got me thinking of so many people who are out here doing so many things you're up and down every single day. Like, there's no day you're not working. There's no day you're not grinding. But if you look at where you are last year, last six months, and now, Rona came, hello, Corona, but you've not actually moved. You've not grown. Not much has changed in your life. Yeah? And you need to remove this for me. It's not really far. I don't want people to start talking about killing animals here. But let's let's be serious on this one thing. I think every person in this world, whatever you're doing, you need to sit down. I always advocate for somebody taking a book and a pen. Like buy a notebook that you don't write funny funny things on. Not a diary, buy a, buy a notebook and write down the things you wanted to do last year. And you remember when you said you're going to save <laughs> at the beginning of the year, but you still haven't. Why? But write down the things you want to accomplish. Or if you've already done that for your business, for you know, your relationship or whatever it is, ask yourself where you are now. Yeah, just honestly, just sit down, sit yourself down, take the book by yourself. Switch off the music, switch off everything, and just ask the question, where am I now? Where are we now as a company? What are we doing as a developer? How many units did I want to sell by now? Rona came, yes, all that, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. What have I accomplished to date? I know it's a mind-boggling question, but I feel like you have to do it. It's like the way we, we always, always talk, ask, now, everybody falls into, uh, into a relationship, but never ask the questions that actually matter. Like, where, you, where do you want us to be in this, this period of time? What are your goals? What are your plans? Well, how many kids do you want? Where do you want them to go to school? What kind of business do you want? That, such questions, we don't, we don't, most people don't really ask. So, when you're in a relationship and then it gets to a point that you break up, you blame the other person, but technically you should blame yourself for not asking the questions in the first place. Hello? <laughs> but in, in business, feeling stuck is a very, very bad thing. I feel like some, sometimes you, you grow to a, a certain level. It's not at the optimal level, but you grow to a certain level and then things just stagnate. You know what I'm talking about. You've, let's say, in property you've been selling this number of units per month or this number of units per year but this year things have just stagnated you're just doing maybe one or less than maybe one two ten twenty i don't know but they've just stagnated so the question you should ask yourself is why i'll go back to the same question i always ask everybody i always put out this on all my social media platforms by the way if you not followed me on instagram youtube Follow, subscribe, hit the like button. I know. We are not continuing by the way. Let's just. This thing is still too hot.
we're waiting for you yeah we're waiting for you subscribed ah good now let's get serious and i think i may be looking like i'm taking this lightly but it's a very very serious matter why because if you're not growing technically you're just in the same spot in the same doing the same thing over and over and over and over again i, I i've read so many books and heard so many people talk about if you want to be a master at something you have to do it for at least ten thousand hours yeah but if you're doing the same thing for ten thousand hours and not trying to learn above what you're doing you're not trying to learn how to improve that thing you're technically not growing you're just doing the same thing it's like you're making you're making what um i don't even know how to put it if if you're not moving from one point to the next making let's put it this way point four if you're not making say more money that you than you made last year even if rona came around and did all these things to us but if you're not making more than you did last year you need to ask yourself why if you're in a relationship and last year was fun you're always going out you're always doing this now you barely even tell each other you love each other i always equate every day to relationship because i need you to grasp the intensity of what i'm saying if you're not questioning the why in why this happened why i'm not going to this level if you are doing going to the gym and you've been eating you've been on a diet and all that but when you work out nothing your body doesn't seem like it's changing you need to ask yourself why and feeling stuck is feeling stuck is bad it sucks i'll tell you for free that thing it sucks it feels really really bad but it's it's something that you alone if you, if you can't do it alone you need to seek some help because i feel like you've I've got I've gotten to a point where in life I feel like if you're not that person who opens up to someone else so that maybe your issues or your problems might be solved, you you will technically just die of depression. Your business will stagnate and it will soon die. You've seen you've heard the saying that most startups if they don't hit 999 days and they become start becoming say a bit technically profitable some some companies even have take a few years but there is no growth in that 999 days there is no form of growth it will die it, it will die you're taking things too personal yeah let's start there you're taking things too personal like everything that happens to you in business and uh, mostly business you and you take it too emotionally like the way Trump always does things crazily and takes things over exaggerates everything i hate man that guy story for another day but if you're taking things in business too emotional in an emotional aspect you will die not literally speaking but that business will die because business is a is is you have to equate it in these levels i want to sell this many products this many houses this many consultations services this i want to do that how many do I want? By when? What do I need to do? How do I need to dress? What do I need to know? Those are the questions you need to be asking. If I need some uh, amount of money, how much do I need? How can I get it? If I can get it, who can sponsor me? Which bank can I talk to? Which, how many people do I need to employ? How many people do I need to convince to be a part of what I'm trying to be? Those are the only questions you should be asking yourself so that you see yourself grow from this level to another level. It's like, um, it's like, I love suits, so let me, let's talk about suits. It's like you buying, uh, put this in Kenya shillings, it's like you buying a 2,000 Kenya shilling suit and somebody goes out, buys one for 15,000 and then another one goes out, buys one for how about 50,000 Kenya shillings. Do you all think those suits are the same? No, they're not. Here is what I mean. You need to start with that cheap one, if you can't afford it. But, act the part. Like, everything is about your mentality. Somebody can be wearing a, even a hundred thousand Kenya shilling suit, but when you see that person down, they technically have nothing to tell you. They, they talk to you and you're like, man, you don't look like your suit. You get it? 
it's it's up here the mentality your mentality needs to change you can be driving around uh, a mercedes or a benz or even a rose but you're dumb like you're so dumb my god but if you look at what you're actually doing from whatever you you think that you're doing there's some form of growth it doesn't matter where you are what you're doing who you're with the kind of house you're living you're living in a one room you're living in a, a single bed one bed sitter where wherever it does not matter what matters is and so that i finish this and make you understand if you're not moving from one point to the next ask yourself why and stop i, I hate it i i really abhor when people ask themselves why and then they answer like Ah, but I'm good looking. Why dress well? I smell good. I I have this. I live here. Hmm. Okay. I I'll see you in a few years. We we'll see what whether that will help you. Yeah. Social media right now is a buzz. Like everybody's online. People are doing everything online, online, online. If you're not utilizing what you have, like I've ha I have a friend. This just to finish this. I have a friend. Every time he keeps complaining, like I don't have a job. I don't have this. I don't have this. Let me. I told you this now. Where he lives, there's Wi-Fi. He has. He has a lap. Actually, two. He has two laptops. He has a camera. A, a very nice Sony. Uh, I don't know the model. Model number, but it's, it's a Sony. Very good one. But he uh, he keeps saying, I don't. I don't have a job. I don't have this. Plus, he dresses really good and knows a lot about accounting. A lot. That guy is really good about. When he talks about accounting. Yeah, I'm always if it die and all that is um sometimes I go you know the way you listen if somebody's smart in a certain niche, in a certain um field and you go like uh <laughs> you're just smiling there like uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah yeah no yeah I get that mm -hmm. but you have no clue what he's talking about. That's a guy. You see all those things that he has, he doesn't utilize them. Yet you're out here talking about I have no job, I have no this Utilize what you have. You have a phone. You have an Android or a Ma or an Apple or whatever you have. Utilize what you have. If you don't know a particular subject and you feel like this is what you want to do, go online. Search. Learn about it. Develop it from ground level. Build it up. Build it up. Stop thinking about uh, these guys are doing this. My friend is doing this. My friend drives this. My friend lives in this neighborhood. My friend... Does your friend breathe what you're breathing? Does your friend eat what you eat? Like, is it the one? Does he have your stomach? Like, to challenge you, tell you, Una mwambaka maini ukienda out? No, you una mwambaka. Then why are you blaming him? Or her? For your situation? It's you. Blame. Always blame yourself. So that when you start from there, no, nobody, you can't accuse anybody else of your failure. So, just to end this up, and I think I'll say that two or three times right now, but I, I just want you to understand, you need to equate for everything you're doing. It's hard, it's really hard, but try it. Just, just try it. Try it for a week. Sit down, look at where your business has gone, has gone from, or if you're still starting, even if you started yesterday or in the morning, look at, by the end of today, look at what has happened look at how much you've made look at how many people you've impacted growth is not just about the money eventually if it's in business you have to look at the amount of money like sales people if you're not making the money you're not growing technically speaking but if people are not calling you if uh if like nowadays you have social media likes and followers and all that if people are not doing that you need to ask yourself why if you're not getting a job You've applied for 10, 20, I've met people who have applied for more than 50 jobs. Man, that's, that's a rough one. That's a tough and a rough one. Uh, good luck to you. But if you're not getting a job, you need to ask yourself, why? I remember I asked, I'll post a video that uh, we did with Wendy Ojiro. Shout out to Wendy Ojiro. You should check out our YouTube page and subscribe also. I remember telling her one, one simple rule about this life. If you keep blaming others for
for your mistakes, for what's going on in your life, you'll never grow. You will never ever grow. Even in that business, you it will never grow. Because of, if you look at all the Fortune 500 companies, when there is a problem, they don't go out blaming others. They first look at what is what are we doing wrong. Exactly. You get me? What are we doing wrong? So that now we can go out there and change it. Okay? Now, take good care of yourselves. My coffee. So this is a bit, bit cold right now. Take good care of yourselves. Wear masks. Like, sanitize, clean up, wash your hands, all that. But just take good care of yourself. Rona ain't done with that with us yet. It's a few weeks to 2021. And I know it's rough for you, most of you. But heed to that what I've said. And don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Never. Never ever let anybody tell you you can't do nothing. Okay? Okay? Do I make myself clear? Subscribe. Have yourself a great week. We are thinking we'll post the videos say uh, on Friday. The ones that I'll talk to you about with uh, when you're due. Yeah. Stay safe. Bye.